Hey guys, man, many things. I have a lot of people asking me questions I've never answered. So, I'll answer them real quick. Some people ask me, what happened to you and Troy? How come you and Troy don't hang out anymore? Um, it, it, real quick, it came all, it, it, it all went sour because of, as a, as a friend, he didn't do what I asked, you know? Um, I told him, he, he said he wanted to make a, a, an SJ, like what I have. He liked the name. He wanted to basically do exactly something like what I did. And I said, you know, just think of your own thing, you know? He's a friend. You should respect that, you know? And um, I, didn't know, I don't know, I don't Troy maybe three years. And all my other friends I talked to, if I, they say they didn't like something, you know, I wouldn't do it. And if I said I didn't like something, they wouldn't do it. There'd be no argument about it at all. So he he really did not uh, pay no mind to it. So to answer that question, that's what really what had what happened. I mean, I like the guy. It's just you know I didn't like it. I didn't like what he what he did. And there's things he he asked me not to do, like when he goes away. That you guys don't know this. He goes away. And you guys don't even know he's gone. He told me, don't ever tell nobody I'm gone. I never told nobody. Because that's, that's, you know, he told me not to say that. So I didn't do it as a friend. But on the flip side, he didn't do that for me, you know. And someone said, hey, how come you don't hang out with uh, Bugging In? You know, I never talked about these things, you know. But a lot of people have been asking me, how come you guys, what happened? You just, just disappeared. You know, last time I seen you guys together, it was you in the hospital. Well, Bugging In got married. I never told nobody. Now, you guys know now. But um, I just felt that uh, I found out his, his girlfriend, his wife now, lives 10 minutes down the street from me. And I never met her. He wanted me to go to a wedding, and I just felt uncomfortable. I wasn't good enough to, to meet her. And um, I never met her, so I didn't go. All my other friends I knew for the rest of my life, I, I know them. You know, I know their, their whole family. For some reason, I never met her. So when he got married, I just didn't go to the wedding. And when I was with Tara, she felt the same way. She felt that um, she felt that she wasn't good enough. You know, we talked to him on the video, but to hang out with all of us, it didn't happen. That's how we felt. I'm not saying it's like that, but that's how we felt. Be honest with you. So a lot of people been asking me those questions. What happened to you guys? That's what happened. And other people say, yeah, don't let a little thing like the SJ, you know, ruin a friendship. It's not, SJ's more than a little thing. And I put a lot of sweat and time and thinking in that truck. You know? And he knew this. And he knows everything about that truck and things I've done. And as a friend, you don't step on people like that, especially your friend. Your friend says, hey, if, if, if a friend, if you have a Camaro, and you've done your Camaro up, you have a blower on it, painted it, different this and you have all this stuff and your neighbor your friend sees that and he copies you and you tell him don't do that and he did anyway that's kind of messed up you know so he's trying to think of a name i think he should just call his jeep the goat greatest of all time that, that's a good name since he can't think of something on his own you know but I had to answer that question because a lot of people ask me this. What happened? So there it is. Um, it's about respect. Respect is gone in this, in this country, man. Nobody respect no one anymore. You know, back in the 80s and maybe the 90s, you have respect. Especially your friends. Friends respect friends. And friends have each other's back. I know people right now, my friends, if they have a problem, all they have to do is call me and I'll be there no matter what it is. You don't have that anymore. You know? And that's it. I reached out. I reached out. I tried calling both of them. They don't answer the phone. So what do you want me to do? So to my subscribers, there you go. I'm old school, man. I got your back no matter what. And if I ask you not to do something, or if you ask me to do something, I'm there for you. You know? Um, 
Uh, people say, hey, well, Troy went to the hospital with the seal. Man, the only reason Troy went to the hospital was because Bugging In brought him there. Okay? That's the truth. I like those guys. I tried to build a team. It didn't, it didn't work out. I'm not, I, I, you have no idea the things I went through trying to get everybody together. You have no idea. But that's answer your question about this because everyone's asking me. There it is. I like both those guys, you know. But, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say. That, that's the truth. I mean, I know where his truck came from. I know where his car came from. I know who bought him. I'm not going to tell you because he told me not to tell you. That's the kind of person I am. I, you know, I, I, don't, I know things that you guys don't know, and you will never know because I promise I will not say anything. But when I ask to do something or say, give, you know, ask them to do something, they don't do it. So, like I said, man, things are not like they used to be. I'm not trying to I just answer your questions. There it is. Because a lot of people have been asking me. All right, guys. Talk to you later.